the people who were in the choir that you directed when we were together here yeah. uh, have their roots in uh, in the islands, in the yes. in Great Britain. So yes. many of them had real uh, affinities for the songs yeah. you were singing. What, what was hardest, I think, for this choir was to get jazz, get in front of it. Yeah, Come on, yeah. guys. Yeah. Cause, because it, it, it requires an energy and, a, yes. and a, an audacity, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And an understanding of rhythm. Yes. And I think I think we, um, you know, because a lot of music now being composed, particularly a lot of choral music too, is very visual. Mm -hmm. It's very cinematic. It's it's atmospheric, and and rhythm is something that that kind of rhythmic energy is is something. It's it's sort of away at the side. Certainly chorally, I, I mean, there's a lot of very slow music around which is wonderful but rhythm is for me rhythm is the lifeblood i love it and it's i kept thinking about james brown on the one kids on the one come on <laughs> exactly exactly because um it, it's the understanding of the function of rhythm and how it relates to the shape of music and how but you know bach is all rhythm you know it's really groovy it's to use rhythm a 60 and it term. silences. Yeah, exactly. And wait a minute, isn't there something in there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And I, I think uh, rhythm is a wonderful thing. And for a, um, I think too, as a someone who conducts, um, the experience for me of trying to make people do it for themselves is more interesting than actually saying this is how you've got to do it. Uh, um, it's it's a um, somehow the way of i think it's like an actor an actor only understands their words when they understand them uh, they he can only say them or they can only say them uh, when they understand them and when they can internalize them and i think music is the same and often we don't have that opportunity to learn that the kind of that we have got to do it ourselves i have watched a number of a large number of master classes and there is this great divide between, and most of them are on what I think is the wrong side of, this is how you do it. It's how I do it, so you do it this way. Yeah, yeah. And I once watched uh, Rostropovich do this, and he was he was a dictator. It was terrible. Yeah. It was a very unpleasant experience as compared to, and again, this is a friend of ours, so I'm prejudiced, somebody like Starker, who would, who would he never took the very best, because he said, they, they'll be fine. He would take people and he would, he would find where it was to pull them in and i think mm -hmm. i'm hearing you say the same kind of thing it's so. a teaching function not a a, a a dictatorship yes you've got to enable other people to find what they have inside of them in order to do it talk about the engagement that you talked about I, a number of the teachers in the in the group that we were with this weekend which is the bc choral federation has lots of teachers who come to mm. things like this uh, this gala a number of them, I'm never going to tell people to watch me again. I watched somebody <laughs> say that to you. I yeah, thought, yes! Is. Actually, I thought this was great. Would you was... please explain that? Yes, because actually I've discovered as a, as a conductor what you don't want to be, and you used the word yourself just now, and I, I, is you don't want to be a dictator. Say, this is how you do it. Uh, um, I like that idea of meeting um, people. Um, you, you kind of have to find that meeting place. And, and actually, um, what you want is for the musicians to be listening to you and you, you're listening to them. I, I, as a conductor, I'm listening to them as well. And you react. Um, uh, and, and it's a balancing act, I think. Um, so it's, it's essential to engage. Um, my father-in-law was a uh, an eminent musician, he, but he was a brilliant accompanist. And, and um, he played for a lot of the top artists in the world. Pinchas Sukerman he played uh, a lot with. But they, would, they wouldn't talk when they played. It was because it was all about, they, they, they had this way of transmitting uh, um, what they were trying to do. I know Herbert von Karajan was very interested in the whole idea of this kind of way that you transmit things. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a fascinating aspect of music. And, and, and when, you, when you look at it from the idea of engaging with someone, if you're a chamber music player, all chamber music players will know exactly what that means. You know, it's about 
that, that you find that point at which you, you make contact with everyone. And, and if you're a singer, you, um, unlike an instrumentalist, you, you look at people um, you, and, and people look at you. And it's actually quite intimate. It's, a, it's quite a, um, and a lot of people, I, I have this experience where, as a, as a conductor, where people say, you were looking at me. And you say, well, well yes, of course. <laughs> and and they're, they're kind of, whoa, it's sort of intimidated. But actually, did I do something yeah, wrong? Yes, exactly. That's exactly the reaction. Did I do something wrong? Because that's the assumption. And, and it's not about that. It's about, it's about meeting people and about, and if they're there looking at you, they are like you. They're, they're, they're sort of on the, on the know, beam, the transmitting beam. Yeah. And yeah. that's where you need to be. And I think that's a much more interesting way of looking at it because you, you, if people understand that, you understand a lot about what it is to be a musician with other people. Mm -hmm. Because for a lot of amateur singers, particularly and amateur musicians, they're so concerned with the fact that they're thinking, am I good enough? Or can I do this? That Oh, I might make a mistake. Yes, exactly. That they can't think they can't think beyond just taking care of what they're trying to take care of. Um, and and I think when we when we can get beyond that, that's a exciting aspect of music. I think for professionals that that is quite an exciting thing because actually they they do have the tools in order to say, well, I, I can play this. You know, but now I've got to, yeah, I've got to find a way to, it's all about, you have to do the work at home, you have to, but what you really have to do is to make it happen. Mm -hmm.